Hi, good morning to the all students. Today lesson, I will go to the chapter 2. So hopefully, uh, chapter 1 we already finished. So uh, the exercise uh, for the summative practice, I will discuss for the next lesson. So today, I want to go to chapter 2. Okay, there's a liquid pressure. Okay, let's see what is a liquid pressure. Okay, first one, we need to go to see a uh, liquid pressure that derive the formula. Okay, for the physics, every time you also got formula, is it? So now we go to find out how to create the formula from the liquid pressure. Okay, they're deriving the formula for the liquid pressure. We're still using the normally the pressure what we learn. Pressure, before that we learn that is a surface area. Is it related with the surface area? There's a force over surface area. So from here, I go to introduce the first one. This one is what we learned before. Pressure equal force over area. So P equal F over A. Okay, now we still learn another thing. There's a density. Density is a mass over volume. Okay, so I want to introduce some of the formula because later we need to cross over. Then finally produce a new formula for the pressure in the liquid. Okay, another last one we learn about the weight equal mass multiplied with gravitational force. So W equal mg. Okay, now we got three of the formula. So that means later we need to combine to each other. Okay, now we're going to see the diagram. Okay, diagram we got one of the liquid with the density. Uh, uh there's a density symbol. Uh, this one is a roll. Okay, this one is a liquid coulomb. That means one of the liquid column in the container, you put inside the whole container, big container with liquid. So from here, they show you this one should be the depth. Okay, agree? Yeah? Depth we measure from the top until the bottom okay, of, the, uh, of the object. So from here, I say the base. Base of the container now is the area. There's an A. So when I just put inside the uh, the big boxes inside the water. So this one we call it as a H. That's a that. Okay, now we need to create the equation. Okay, so from here we go to explain first. A liquid coulomb that has a base area. So it is filled to the depth. Uh, the depth is the H in the container filled with a liquid of the density rho. So from here we got introduced three with the physical quantity. First one should be the base area. Number two should be the depth you put inside the container. The depth is how many. And the last one is the liquid density. Okay. So we continue. The pressure P due the liquid exert on the object at the base can be written as. So now we're just talking about the pressure from the liquid. The acting to the base of the container, of the small container, is how many? Okay, so now we go to show it um, how to create the equation from this situation. Okay, so the first one, we go to derive the equation. Okay, volume of the liquid coulomb. Okay, liquid coulomb, this one. The volume is how to create. Volume normally is the area multiplied with the height, is it? So from here, we need to show volume. Actually, the formula is a H multiplied area. Okay, now we go to the next one. The mass of the liquid coulomb. Okay, the mass for the whole thing. So mass from the whole thing, we just see for the density. Lah. From the density, we need to create the formula for the uh, for the liquid. Okay, we create the mass for the liquid. So that means there's a suppose V rho. If I want to find the mass, so V multiply with the rho. Okay, so from here, the V, I need to take this one V. Okay, I bring the V to go down. So now the equation become like this. Rho multiply with the V. V, I just take this one. Okay, A multiply H. That one is a volume. So I straightforward to put in. Now it's my mass. Okay, then we continue. The weight of the liquid coulomb. The weight, the whole thing, the liquid coulomb. What is the weight? Weight is mg, is it? So the m, the mass, I want to replace by using this one. This one is a rho AH. So I replace the m here. 
So from here, I can create the equation rho AH multiply the G. Is it? Okay, then the last one, I need to using the pressure at the base of the liquid. Okay, I need to count the pressure acting at the base of the liquid is how many? So I using the first formula. Pressure formula is a force over area, is it? Okay, the force is what? The force is a weight of the liquid. Okay, weight of the liquid coulomb that acting to the base. So from here, the weight of the liquid coulomb, that's this formula. Okay, rho AH multiply the G. So that one is a force. That means the weight lah, acting to the base. So from here, I still continue to using the same formula, F over A. So I go to write. Okay, then I continue the F should be uh, rho AH multiply the G. Then still got one of the area. Okay, now you can see area up and now we also got. So that means we can cancel each other. So finally, your pressure liquid is a H rho G. Okay, so from here, this one not P, uh, this one is a rho density. So G is a gravitational force. Lah. Normally, we using is a 9.81. Okay, sometimes we using 10, depend the question. Okay, so from here, finally, I just want to prove what is the liquid pressure. For the liquid pressure, P equal H rho G. So this one is a how to prove it. Okay, just want to show you how the formula to create. Okay, so from here we go to the next part. Okay, so this one is a formula for the uh, liquid pressure. So we need to explain one by one. What's a H, what's a rho, for, what's a G? Okay, P, first one is a liquid pressure, capital letter. Then the H is a depth, depth of the liquid. Okay, rho is a density of the liquid. Then the G is a gravitational acceleration. So from here, we're going to see the SI unit. The SI unit for a pressure, there's a Pascal. Okay, you can write in Pascal. You also can write for Newton per meter square. Okay, that's okay. Because you put the force over area, is it? Okay, sometimes you can use the base unit. Kg m negative 1. Then the S is a negative 2. Okay, depend for use. Okay, this all also is a SI unit for the pressure. Okay, now we're going to see the liquid pressure does not. Okay, we see the characteristic. Okay, liquid pressure that does not depends on the mass. Okay, your mass is how many is not related with the pressure. Another one is the volume. Okay, your volume is how much. They also not related with the pressure. And the last one is the surface area. Okay, your surface area of the uh, of the liquid. Okay, your big surface area or your small surface area that's a not related with the pressure. So from here we need to find out actually the factor to cause the liquid pressure increase. What is that? So if like this we need to measure, we need to see the formula. So this one is a formula they not mentioned about the mass. Rate. They also never mention about the volume. Surface area also no. So that means Related with the pressure, sure is a depth, okay, density, and also gravitational acceleration, okay. So this three thing is not uh, related with the liquid pressure, okay. Now we go through one by one the factor. Okay, so the factor that will affect the liquid pressure, sure is related to the formula. Okay, so from here we go through the depth first lah. The first one, the depth, you affected the liquid pressure. Okay, this one is an example diagram. Inside one of the container, we got liquid. Okay, now I label three hole. Okay, three hole, you just open it, let the water to come out. So first one, you just close by using the cellophane tape. So we label the first one should be the A, B, and also C. Okay, how to count the depth? Okay, the depth is normally we start from the surface, is it? Not at the bottom go up. Eh? So we start from the surface, come down. So this one is a surface. This one is until A, then you stop. This one we call that. Okay, from the surface you go until B, then you stop. That one is a another that. And the last one go until to the C. So from here we can conclude C, the that should be the highest. 
okay so from here we need to find out when i just on the cellophane tape what happened okay sure the water will spur out is it now we need to test which one can spur out further okay spur out further means the pressure should be the highest lah okay now we go to show okay before we go to show we go to explain first Okay, the greater the depth of the liquid, the higher the pressure in the liquid. So that means I can make a conclusion. The pressure in the liquid, there's a P, directly proportional to the depth. Okay, so this one is a relationship for the depth and also the liquid pressure. Okay, now we're going to see the diagram. So from here, you find it, the C will spur to the further distance, then continue by the B and the A should be the closer okay so this one we can show about the different depth different pressure of the liquid okay one of the experiment they also related with this one relationship the depth and also the pressure there's an experiment 2.1 from your textbook okay let's see the uh, the experiment first okay this one is a uh, uh, one of the experiment they're using the apparatus like this okay you can see they got water they're using the rubber sheet then this one we call it twister funnel then this one is a measuring cylinder okay we're using the big measuring cylinder because you want to put the water is a higher okay this one is a, a silicon tube the joint with the both uh, one is a twister another one is a u-tube okay this one we call u-tube right? the shape because of the u okay now inside the youtube we put the liquid okay they're using the color water so that means later they move we can see very clear okay then we clamp by the rectus step okay let's see the explanation for the whole report okay first one is the inference okay inference normally we're talking about what depends to what so we normally take rv depends on the mv is it so from here what we can control we control the depth the pressure we cannot control what so we control the depth lah. so that means the twister funnel later you want to put which one level you go to adjust so that means at the cylinder tube here you need to label uh, maybe this one is a 10 20 30 40 later you just move the twister funnel only so from here the rv is a pressure so we're talking pressure in the liquid that's a depends on the depth of the liquid okay this one we call inference Hypothesis. Hypothesis, the pattern is when, when. When this one increase, that one is how. Okay. So normally we're talking about MV first because you control the MV. So from here they say greater the depth of the liquid, the higher the pressure of the liquid. Okay. So after that, the format, after hypothesis, sure is an aim. Okay. Let's see the aim. Aim we're talking about the relationship. So from here you can use the word to study or you say to investigate relationship between okay mv and rv so normally we measure about the uh, mv and rv up to you you want to mention which one first also can for the m they never say uh, which one need to mention first so from here i mentioned about the depth of the liquid and pressure in the liquid okay so after that we go variable variable we know we got three is it manipulate responding and also constant so normally we mention about manipulate first lah. so manipulate i control about the depth okay depth of the liquid okay now responding responding sure is a pressure in the liquid okay pressure in the liquid from here we're using what to represent the pressure okay they represent by using the different height of the water cooler so before you put in the twister funnel both of the uh, color water should be same level okay same level because we don't have any pressure to add in so when i just put inside the twister funnel you can find okay this one level the uh, color water will drop this one will go to up so this one different distance between the two side of the color water this one we call it as a pressure of the liquid so that means if your pressure is more acting here so the color water will go drop more okay another color the color water will go to the higher part okay so from here they say the different um in the height of the water column d the between of the two water level in the youtube is represented by the pressure 
So one of the easier thing, when you draw the diagram, you label, this one is a D. So when we go to explanation, we more easier to explain. You don't need to mention what's a D, is it? You just say, okay, now we measure the distance D. Then we understand because your diagram already drawn. Okay, now constant variable is the density of the liquid. Okay, so that means this liquid we cannot change really. You make sure they're using water, then until the end we're also using water. Because different density, they will affect the pressure. Okay, remember the formula is it H rho G. So that means the rho also one of the factor. So from here, if we're using the depth, it's a relationship. So the density must be constant. Okay. So we continue after the variable, we're going to see the apparatus. Okay, let's see apparatus from here. We're using 500 ml measuring cylinder. Okay, must be the tall cylinder. After that, we're using a silicone tube, twister funnel with the mouth closed by the thin sheet of the rubber. Okay, because later you want to join. So after that, we got YouTube, we got two half meter rule. Okay, we need to measure the D is it. So we're using meter rule. So meter rule is important. Eh? If you never mention the meter, meter rule, they will minus your mark because you cannot measure the uh, responding variable. Okay, and the last one is the restore stand. Okay, material, we're using water and using the food coloring because you want to make the color water. Okay, let's see the procedure. Okay, first one you can mention about the setup. Okay, you don't need to mention uh, how to set up uh, this one join to this one twister funnel how to join you just mention setup of the apparatus as above diagram so your diagram when drawing must be very clear so we just can mention setup same as the above diagram okay number two uh, we continue uh. initially the twister funnel is put outside first okay measuring cylinder and the level of the water in the both arm of the youtube must be the same Okay, before you put in, you make sure the color water is the same level. Okay, number two, you emerge. Emerge the twister funnel into the measuring cylinder until the depth. So this one is important. You need to mention manipulate variable. The first one is how many. Because this one is your you set by yourself. So you just mention one of the number. Okay, the logic number. After that, you can get the marks. So from here, they say uh, they put for the 4 cm okay then you need to determine after i'm sure it's a rv is it so they say determine the difference of the height of the water that's a d ah so from here we no need to explain what's a d already we just mentioned we want to find the different height that's a d between the two water level and then we understood what is the d okay because the diagram already drawing Okay, after that, we go to number four. Okay, this one is an example. Okay, example of the uh, experiment. They want to show you uh, what happened when the twister funnel put inside the liquid. Okay, you can see this one example for the give. Okay, when I just put, you can find it. Okay, two arms is it. This one, uh, the wa water inside the tube, they must go down. This one must be up. Okay, when I just lift up, they go back to the same level. So this one is a one of the uh, video lah to show the experiment. Okay, let's see that. Okay, they put inside. So you can find it. Uh, the level different already, is it? So from here, we can show about the, um, the relationship. When I put the twister funnel, put inside the different depth. Okay, different depth of the liquid. To find the two... Arm um, here, the water level, that means the color water level become different. Sure, this part, the pressure, there's a liquid pressure acting through the tube, go in the U-tube. So finally, they add to the water, push the water down. Then the water, another side, they will lift up. So that means here we got liquid pressure. Okay, how to find the liquid pressure? So we find out the different the different level. So this one should be the 5.2. This one is a 4, is it? We go to minus. So this one we call it is a pressure. Okay, then we continue. Okay, we continue to see the uh, difference. Okay, just now is a uh, uh, you put the this level is it? Now I want to go deep some more. 
okay maybe the twister final they put until the base so we see what happened ah you can see now at the base already when they're at the base you see the big difference okay so just now it's a four okay now this one up some more they're until six so that means when i go to deeper the difference between two water water color they become big difference okay so it means here is more of the pressure acting to the color of the water then this one will lift up more okay so this one is an example for the uh, uh the experiment to show about a uh, relationship for the depth and also the liquid pressure okay so we continue for the just now experiment okay after you do one set okay you do one set you measure the d already you must mention you need to repeat okay experiment we cannot just do one set okay at least it's a five set so from here you repeat the step two and step three okay the depth you now to control just now is a four now you make it become eight twelve sixteen and also twenty so repeated minimum is a four set eh? so after that we need to record record the d lah, the difference of the height as a d okay after that we need to prepare the table because you need to record all the data is it okay so from here this one should be the result okay result normally is a two column one is a mv and our one should be the rv so when you just write the mv please write the unit also okay the rv also same so this one you need to mention okay you set yourself 4 8 12 16 and 20 so this one is your result okay depends the d after you measure there's a how many okay so this one is a format how you write the full report okay then we go to the uh, another side okay so from here we need to explain okay at the difference between the water level in the manometer that's a youtube d increases as the depth of the twister funnel is increased so that means we make a conclusion okay after we see the report so we find it when you just find the level of the uh the water okay you put inside the the measuring cylinder is it the depth increasing so you find it okay the different of the manometer of the youtube this one d also increasing so from here we can make a conclusion this show that the pressure in the liquid p that's a directly proportional with the depth okay so this one should be the conclusion okay so from here in your house you can try to do some of the small activity there's an effect of the dead water pressure can be studied by using the plastic bottle so from here you can see the diagram using one of the 1.5 liter of the bottle okay after that you make three hole okay using some of the knife so you can cut three hole okay massing tap you go to crawl first okay then you fill in the water after the bottle has been filled with the water now the masking tap is removed okay when it just remove sure the water will spur out is it so from here now when it just spur out you need to find out the distance where the spur okay so from here the spur distance of the water from the three hole they will be show the relationship between the water pressure and also the depth so from here this one i want you to do one of exercise okay example for activity in your house okay when you do this one uh the activity i want you to show me the photo okay when it just spur out maybe you're using the color color water you can see very clear when it just spur out you snap the photo to me okay you snap the photo after that you pass in the uh, google classroom so that means I will create one of the uh one of the assignment there. Okay, I will snap this photo. So as a activity for the depth and also pressure. So after that, as a assignment there, then you need to pass up. Okay. So you snap the photo, you upload in a drive, after that you turn it, turn in to me. So that one is a one of the uh, small activity you need to do today. Lah okay so i give you five days to do it after that you turn in to me 
Okay, so this one's a one first activity I want you to do. Okay, we continue to the next. Okay, after we find the pressure, uh, sorry, it's a, a that is a factor. We need to go another one. So another one is a density. Okay, density also is a one of the factor that will affect the liquid pressure. Okay, let's see the diagram here. Okay, water, when it just pour out, they will go to further. If I'm using the oil, you find it, the spur out is a, con the distance will be closer. Okay, make sure the level is the same. Eh? So from here, we can make a conclusion. Density higher. Okay, oil and water, density water is higher. Eh? Okay, density water higher means the liquid pressure also increases. So that means that's a directly proportional for the density. So what we can write? The higher the density of the liquid, the higher the pressure of the liquid. So the pressure of the liquid P, that's a directly proportional to the density. Okay? Okay, that's a one of the experiments related with the density and also the pressure. That's an experiment 2.2. .2. Okay, the diagram exactly same as a 2.1. Just from here, we need to using the three different of the uh, liquid. Maybe you're going to choose alcohol. You're going to choose the liquid. There's an oil. Another one is water. After that, you put the twister funnel in. Make sure the level is the same. So that means we make the depth become constant variable. Okay, this one is an example for this experiment. So make sure the level is the same. Eh? Okay, because the depth now is a constant variable. So they're using uh, two of the different of the liquid. One is water. You mark the level. You see the level must be the same. Another one, they're using the glycerin. Okay, they're using the glycerin. So after that, this one is a different depth. When you put in, then after that, you can find the pressure to push the water. Then the one part become up, another part become down. We still measure this one is a D. D is represent the pressure. Okay, then we go to the example for the diagram. Okay, this one is a water. You see the level we put is the same. Eh? Okay, when I put the water, so you can find it, the liquid pressure, they press the color water. This one is down, this one is up. So this one is until 6. This one is a 4. The different only 2. Okay, then now I'm using the glycerin. Okay, the level is the same. Okay, but this one still 4. Okay, they just push there until 4. But this one can be up until 7. Okay, they can up until 7. So from here, we can find the different 7 minus 4, there's a 3. Okay, another one I put inside the alcohol. Okay, the until 4 also, but this one, they will go until 5. Okay, they go until 5. So means the difference is 1 only. Okay. So this one is a what's the difference, okay? What's the difference if I'm using the difference of the liquid, okay? Normally, this one, we need to find out what's the relationship with the depth and also density. So from here, we find it, the liquid pressure highest is from the glycerin. Okay, glycerin should be the highest. Lah. You see the big difference. Then followed by the water and the last one sure is the alcohol. Okay, alcohol is a lighter one. Okay, the density should be the lowest. Okay, then we go to the next part. Okay, next part is a, the experiment just now. This one is a result. So we can see the different density. Lah. So alcohol just only 790. Then the water is a 1000. Then the glycerin is a 1300. So from here, we need to find the D. The difference of the high water cooler. Okay, so this one after you do the experiment, that means you can find out the difference for the D. So that one is represented by the liquid pressure. Okay, then we continue with the characteristic of the pressure in the liquid. Okay, the pressure at the any point of the liquid that act equally in all direction. So that means the pressure anyway. You put at the bottom, you put at the top, you put at the left and right. 
they also will be acting by the pressure now we show the diagram okay this one is a diagram for the pressure acting to any way so you can see the twister funnel if i put to left hand side i put at the bottom like this face down another one face up another one face to the right you can find it the level should be the same but make sure the depth is a constant now if your depth changes sure that will change so if the same level so i go to at left at the right at the down at the up should be the same pressure okay now this one you also can be test okay you take one of the bottle now you go to make the hole just now it's a different height is it now i want to make sure the hole is the same level okay three is the same level surrounded one of the circle after that you make the hole okay when starting you close by the cellophane tape okay after that on the same time you just open your cellophane tape you find it three of the hole the water will come up with the same depth uh, or same distance uh. okay same distance so this one same distance we we just conclude the pressure acting at the same level or is the same okay so that means they were acting at any point okay any point here the pressure the soul will be acting now we're going to see the conclusion water will spreading out at the all three hole at the same level of the plastic water has the same horizontal spur distance so important you need to see the distance that spur out Okay, so from here they say the pressure at a point in a liquid that acts in all directions. Point at the same level have the same pressure. So any direction they also will be acting from the liquid pressure to come out. So anyway, you just put put the sperm at the another the spur the hole at the other side, they also will be spur out at the same distance. Unless the level you go to change. So from here they want to prove the pressure is acting to all directions. Okay, number two, we're talking about cross-sectional area and also the shape. Okay, that's a not affected the pressure in the liquid. Okay, now you can see the different shape. Okay, now you can see the shape is a different. When I just put the water in, you find it the level is the same. Okay, that's not affected. Okay, although the shape become S, this one is go incline, the level should be the same. So this one is not related with the pressure. Okay, pressure we still measure by using the depth. Okay, pressure in the liquid that does not depend on the size. Okay, first one, the size is not related. Okay, number two is the shape. Okay, it's a shape. You also can say the volume. And the last one is the area. Okay. These three that's are not related. Okay, so from here I can show the diagram. Okay, this one is a different shape, is it? Okay, volume also different. So now I go to okay. When I just add the water, then you find it, the level become the same. Okay, so from here we never call about oh this one become as the pressure is a different. No, okay, we just measure the depth only. Okay, when it just measure the depth, that one is a liquid pressure. Okay, this one is a one of the video. They want to show you a uh, different shape, is it? But when I just put the water in, you find it, the level will become the same. Okay, that's a not related with the shape and also the volume. Okay, let's see the example. Okay, the keep go to put, uh, go to add the water. Okay, finally they stop uh, you find it the level is the same okay the level is the same although the diameter the shape the volume is a different but finally when that is the same level so that means the pressure should be the equal okay characteristic of the pressure in the liquid we're going to see another characteristic pressure in the liquid that depends only its vertical distance from the surface of the liquid they only depends uh. now we're going to see this one okay this one we call it depth is it okay when i put incline okay when i put incline you cannot say oh the depth becomes stagnant already no 
the depth still vertical. So from here, we can say the pressure A, okay, the bottom, and also the pressure B should be the same. Okay, we measure by the vertical height. So this one, we call it depth. Okay, so that means just now I show the characteristic and also I show the factor, is it? So now we need to do some of the problem solving of the pressure liquid. Okay, this one's a liquid X. Okay, when I just put the gas pressure, maybe the pressure that acting here. So this one, I put the liquid Y. This one is a one of the liquid. Now I add another liquid Y. So now the liquid Y is more heavier. They can push, push the liquid X up already. So that means this one Y become uh, the density higher. Lah. So finally, they can push another liquid go up. Okay, so from here, we can see about that. Uh, what's the difference? We need to find the density of the different uh, liquid. Okay, we cannot say this one should be the higher. Maybe the less than also can because you find it they're floating, is it? Floating at the top. So that means we just know here got one of the pressure to push. Okay, the liquid X go up. Okay, the pressure should be the highest lah. But we need to convey about density. Okay, how about the density for the both of the liquid? Okay, both liquid is cannot mix one. Now we're going to find out the density of the liquid Y is how many. Okay, for this one situation, we need to create the equation. If not, we cannot do any calculation, is it? So we see the liquid pressure at the point A. Okay, we find the part when the two liquid differentiate, then this part is a one of the line we need to draw. Okay, because we need to find uh, the difference of the liquid, the pressure is how different. Okay, liquid pressure at the point A. Okay, we can show the equation. Remember the equation? Rho Hg. So we take the A is a 1. Okay, rho 1, H1 and also the G. Okay, rho 1 is stand for the density of the liquid X. Okay, then the height means this one. The height means uh, above the level A. Okay, the height O is a that. This one is a that. Okay, how about the liquid B? Liquid B is here. Okay, the B is here. So that means the rho 2. Rho 2 is stand for the liquid Y density. Okay, after that, what is the H2? H2 is a that. Okay, the that from the up until B. So this one is a depth for the liquid Y. Okay, G both also is the same. Huh? There's a gravitational acceleration. So now I can show the equation. Remember, I told you, same level, there's the same pressure. Okay, so we cannot say I put here. Okay, I put here, then I draw one straight line. Same level, same pressure. Okay, although I know same level, same pressure, but I cannot to find it because you are mixtures. You mix sure you no. Know. You mix sure mean you mix liquid Y, you mix liquid X. So that means later the density we cannot find. Okay, now I want to find either one density. So I need to find out the point, exactly the two liquid differentiate. Okay, so I just label there's a B, then another side sure is an A. Same level, same pressure. So from here, I can just find one of the density only. There's a density liquid Y. Because all above is a one of type of the liquid. Okay. So now, point A and B. Okay. Same level. Both liquid are static. Now I can say pressure A equal pressure B. Okay. So now I create the equation already. So I need to continue. Okay. I need to continue. Okay, PA equal PB, pressure A equal pressure B. So I go more detail a little bit lah, for the formula. Okay, now H1, rho 1, G1. Okay, this one for the A lah, liquid A. Okay, another one should be the B. Okay, the point B. Okay, point B is talking about the liquid Y. Okay, point A is talking about the liquid X. Okay, which one we can cancel? Sure, it's a G lah, is it? Oh, sorry. Uh, we need to point out first. Okay, 
g we cancel each other so that's the same okay now i can write the equation is row 1 h1 equal row 2 h2 okay so from here the formula rho hg is used to calculate the pressure at the depth of the liquid the surface of the liquid also experiences the pressure okay surface you can see the surface surface also got pressure is it now this one pressure we call one name the actual pressure that experienced by the object in the liquid we can calculate by using the formula actual pressure that equal to the rho hg plus okay above we got atmospheric pressure for these two situation because both also is open actually both side atmospheric pressure should be the same is it so we just cancel okay if one side is closer another side is open so that means the atmospheric pressure you need to calculate so from here the actual pressure acting there should be h rho g then we plus another atmospheric pressure so therefore that explain for you what is a patm this one is a short form eh? so patm actually there's a atmospheric pressure okay we're going to try some of the question first because we create the formula already okay this side of the pressure same to the another side okay so this one is a first for the uh, example one okay if the density of the water okay they give you density Calculate the pressure below 40 meter of the sea water. So that means below below the surface, uh, they go down 40 meter. Okay, due to water pressure alone. So that means the question, they just want water pressure. They do want atmospheric. So we more easier, uh, we're just using H rho G, then we can find the answer. Okay, now we show the equation. P equals H rho G. Okay, rho already got row the question provided there's a 1150 then after that we got 40 meter is a depth okay after that g g normally we take 9.81 okay for your syllabus now they're never using 10 really they're using 9.81 so we continue the question 40 multiply 1150 okay multiply with 9.81 so we need to find the water pressure now Okay, the water pressure is a 4 or oh, too large already. Okay, 451,260 Pascal. So you can write in a standard, sign, a standard form also can. 4.51 times 10 power of uh, 5 Pascal also can. Okay, depend for yours. Okay, we got example 2. Example 2, the figure. Okay, we see the figure first. Okay, this one is a figure. Okay, inside the figure, they're containing the liquid mercury. Okay, what is the pressure that caused by the liquid mercury at the point P? Okay, they just want P only. They do want bottom. Okay, from the diagram, we know the whole depth is a 0 0.8. But we cannot take 0 0.8, is it? Because the point P is not at the bottom. Okay, then they told you the P and bottom, the difference is a 0 0.2 meter. So that means we need to find the depth lah that from the surface until the p so we take 0 0.8 minus 0 0.2 that one is a depth then after that the question they give you density of the liquid okay so we just using the same formula okay rho uh, rho hg then after that we know the h is it h you need to calculate by yourself 0 0.8 minus 0 0.2 then the rho we follow by using this one this one is a rho then the g we still using 9.81 then we go to find what is the pressure acting to the point p okay so we show 0 0.8 minus 0 0.2 multiply 1.36 times 10 power of 5 multiply with the g so final answer oh very large eh? so you can using the standard form so if i using standard form i just write 8.00 times 10 power of 5 then pascal okay you can write full also can 800 uh 800,496 pascal okay now we go to the example 3 example 3 they show about a fish at the depth is a 1.5 meter in the aquarium okay they provide the density of the water that's a 1050 then the atmospheric pressure they also provided 
So that means this one question later, we need to add atmospheric pressure and also water pressure. Okay, then the gravitational acceleration, that's a 9.81. Okay, let's see the A. What is the pressure experienced by the, uh, the fish? They only caused by the water. So the question A, they're not related with the atmospheric. They just say water. So that means we're just using the rho Hg to calculate the water pressure. Okay, now we're going to show rho Hg. Then the H, there's a 1.5 lah because there's a depth. Okay, the rho, we're just using the uh, density of the water in the aquarium. There's a 1050. Then we're using 9.81. So we just do the calculation. So we find it, the answer is a 15.5 kilopascal. You can use in kilopascal, you also can use in the SI, uh, the standard, standard form. Okay, after that, I find the A already. Now I continue to find the B. B, they want to find actual pressure. So actual pressure, that means later you need to add atmospheric pressure. Because at above the water, we got atmospheric pressure also acting down, is it? So from here, we're just using the formula. Okay, actual pressure equal to pressure of the water plus atmospheric. So pressure of the water is a 15.5 kilopascal. Then the atmospheric is 100 kilopascal. So we just plus only. So final answer, there's a 115.5 kilopascal. Okay, so this one is a question including the atmospheric pressure. Okay, then we continue to the example 4. Okay, example 4, they're using the YouTube filled with the water and also the olive oil. So, you can see two different of the liquid. Eh? Okay, the density of the water they provided, 1000. Okay, now they want to find density of the olive oil. Okay, remember this one situation, we need to using what formula? We need to using the both liquid, okay, same level, same pressure. So, from here, we need to find out the level exactly the two liquid different shape. So from here, I underline for you already. So this one is a liquid, there's a water. This one is an olive oil. When it just start to separate, so we draw one straight line. Okay, now you can see this point. This point is water pressure acting. Okay, another side, you can see this point also. This one is only the olive oil acting. So now this one is a height. That means the depth lah. The depth of the liquid acting to the point. So we can say the density of the olive oil, that's a rho O. We do know how many, we just using the symbol. Okay, the height of the water column, that's a H. H, W is a 15. Okay, density of the water provided 1000. Okay, the height of the olive oil also provided 16.5. So you can see both sides, the, the height we're using CM, is it? So CM and CM is okay because later both sides we cancel each other. So the unit we don't need to change. Okay, important we need to find is a density. Okay, I show the equation first. Okay, remember this one formula? Just now we proved already, is it? Rho W, that means the water and also the height for the water will equal rho for the olive oil and also the height of the olive oil. So I just put in uh, all the things I substitute in. So from here, the row is a thousand multiplied with the height is a 50. Okay, the row for the olive oil we do know. This one is a height. Okay, finally we get the answer. Okay, remember when you get the answer, follow the unit, the question provided. Okay, finally I get 909.1. Okay, just copy kilogram per meter cube. So that one is the density of the olive oil. Okay, then we continue. Okay, so our example question already finished. Lah. So from here, this one is a today task. So you can uh, download by using this one of the link. That they got one of the exercise about the today lesson. There's a liquid pressure. You also can scan, <coughs> scan the barcode. Okay, for the student, I already uh, five size two. Uh, I already put in your Google Google Classroom. Let me inside got one of the this exercise. You need to download and also print out and do it. After that, put inside the file. I will discuss for the another lesson. So another one you need to fill in your Google form. 
Okay, for today attendance. Okay, today attendance we got code. Uh. Okay, let's see the code for today. There's a pressure. Okay, listen uh, no hashtag, only pressure. Pressure is capital letter. P R E S S U R E. Pressure. Okay, today topic uh, pressure. After that, you put underscore. Okay, after underscore, you put 2021. Okay, no spacing. So, I repeat again, the today code is a pressure. P-R-E-S-S-U-R-E. -S 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 -E. Okay, after that, underscore 2021. Okay, the pressure in capital letter. Okay, no spacing. Okay, so today uh, what I want to show you, lah, just like this only. So hopefully you understand what's the liquid pressure and also some of the example question. Okay, student. Uh, so I want to show last one should be my channel. Lah. Okay, so hopefully you all already subscribe. Okay, so this one is my channel. Okay, you just type my name in the YouTube. So that means you can uh, get my whole channel inside is uh, all of physics and also some of the science lesson uh, chat uh, science lesson video okay. okay so our lesson just until here so just thank you for your watching and thank you for your support so hopefully you enjoy today the video okay bye